Welcome to American Sports Angler. Today we bring you on another amazing trout fishing experience at one of the best kept secrets in downtown Pigeon Forge. Here we are, downtown Pigeon Forge, heading toward the O Mill. And remember, here you only have to have your uh, fishing license and trout stamp. You don't have to have a day permit in Pigeon Forge because this is not Gatlinburg. Um, so let's see how we do, guys. Thanks for coming along. God bless. Today, we're going on one of the hottest, most highly visited vacation spots in North America. Over 10 million people visit this area every year for vacationing and outdoor recreation, including trout fishing. And today, we're gonna to show you one of the best fishing holes in East Tennessee, downtown at the Old Mill District, behind the Old Mill Restaurant. The state stocks these streams from Patriot Park to the end of Pigeon Forge. Come with us to one of the best kept secrets in downtown Pigeon Forge. Here we are at the old mill in uh, Pigeon Forge. And remember, uh, here you don't have to have a day permit. You just to have your fishing license and your trout stamp. And you're good to go because this is uh, Pigeon Forge, not Gatlinburg or the Smoky Mountain Park. So uh, just keep that in mind. This is uh, one of the best kept secrets on Pigeon Forge. Just going down and the uh, water seems to be a little bit clearer. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna, we, tried, uh, we tried the chartreuse uh, eggs. Now we're going to try the... Uh, I'm gonna try some Orange Deluxe. I don't know, I got a feeling about it. Like I said, it looks like it's seared up a lot since the last couple of days. Beautiful place, we got the meal running now. Good little walk here, good little park, easy access. Well suited, put your lawn chairs out, set on the rock, great little fishing area. Today John's using Hotskies, Chartreuse Garlic, and Yellow Corn. Stay 
Hey guys, I just want to take a second to go through my setup with you guys. I'm using six pound test and I'm using a size eight salmon egg hood. Okay, that's really good and nice for a uh, nice size for uh, for trout fish. You don't want to go too big, like you're you're not bass fishing or anything. You need a small hook for those guys. Mostly we're catching release, so uh, we want to hook them in the mouth and uh, be able to release them so they can somebody else can catch them and they can live healthy and grow bigger. Okay, I'm using six pound test, uh, and I'm using a little split shot just right below my indicator. Okay, that keeps it straight up. And then on down here, just maybe three or four inches from my hook, I've got another split shot so we can get those eggs down where the trout are. Okay, most of them, they won't feed off the bottom, but they're down at the bottom. And so you wanna have this right in the strike zone. Okay, uh, my pole is an ugly stick. It's a six foot and it's a medium action. It's one of my favorites. My reel, I've got a Battle 3000 pin reel. That's one of my favorites. Um, I've got two of these and I really, really like them. Uh, they're not too heavy, just right, not too light. I really love this reel. Um, I'll probably get a couple more of these in the future. So there you go. It's a pretty basic setup for trout fishing. Um, my other uh, pin reel, I have set up a Carolina rig and we'll go back over exactly what a Carolina rig is and how to rig it. So uh, thanks for watching guys, God bless. Once again, we'll show you the easy access to get behind the old mill. We came here today, we caught and released well over a dozen trout, some 14, 15, 16 inches, even up to two and three pounders. It's a breathtaking place, a great place to relax and get away. Come here, get a room, get away, come down here, do a little trout fishing, bring the significant other, bring the kids, just have a great time. Remember folks, if you bring heavy tackle, you're probably not gonna catch a lot of fish here. So let's keep that line around four pound to six pound maximum. And you wanna bring anywhere from a size eight to a 14 salmon egg hook. by Pusky's Bait and Pin Reels for the fisherman who only wants the best experience. If you like these videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. God bless y'all. Thank you so much for all your compassion and love and support. It really means the world to us. Thank you. Thank God you bless. Guys. Thank you guys.